Hey, what's up YouTube? Today in What's in My Gray Garage, we are putting a trailer hitch on a 2021 RZR XP 1000 High Lifter Edition. Um, this is a uh, rough country hitch. Um, it's not too hard to do, but it's not the easiest thing to do. And we're gonna cover a few things and uh, we're gonna get after it and put this thing back together. Um, it uh, takes a little bit of hand-eye coordination and uh, just a little bit of uh, having an extra set of hands would be good, but not necessarily uh, necessary. But uh, we're going to get to it here, and I'll show you the stuff you're going to need and what you're going to need to, uh, what tools you're going to require to do this job. So hold on real quick, and I'll jump to the video. Okay, with, the, uh, with doing this... Uh putting this trailer hitch on or this adapter hitch on the uh the xp razor um i needed a, a night or a 18 millimeter socket i'm using an impact gun to uh, remove the bolts and there's four bolts you're going to remove there's two up on the top and two in the bottom that go through the uh, upper and lower control arms there's these little spacers that go between the uh between the mounting plate and the outer plate goes like this. Anyways, those are gonna come out. Come out. The one on the bottom is pretty good. It just sits on the uh, on the little toe hitch that's existing. Um, a little, I don't know. I guess a little uh, little toe point, but it's not really that thick. That's why I'm putting this uh, this rough country suspension or not suspension. Sorry, rough country uh, hitch on it. That way I can put a uh, a trailer hitch type on there with like a. Uh, a D ring or some sort of uh, you know implement that'll be easier for me to get uh, get out of situations or help people get out of situations without tearing up the machine. So of course the trick of it is is not to get yourself in situations where you really need to use this stuff. But you know you spend a lot of money on these machines. You know try not to put yourself in a place where you're tearing them up. But anyways, what I did is I uh, I loosened the bolts. I took the bolts. I, inside there's a nut. There's a uh, each bolt has one nut. It's like a uh, kind of like a Teflon loaded uh, fastener. Anyways, there's one on each one. When you uh, back them off, it's a uh, I believe it's it's an 18 millimeter. So you got 18 millimeter in the in the Ford or in the in, on the nut and on the the bolt. Kind of have to finagle getting getting inside there, but it's not too bad. Um, and then you just back them out. And what I did is I used the floor jack and I got a piece of wood here and I jacked it up. And as I jacked it up, it took the pressure off the sway arms here and it allowed for the, uh, it lifted it up a little bit, allowed the tension to come off the mounting plate and the bolts were able to come out pretty easy. So we're gonna install them and it should go pretty quick. It's not really that long of a process. It shouldn't take any more. And I would say five or 10 minutes to do this, maybe 15 if you're if you're not really too slick with uh, hand tools and stuff, but it's really not that bad. I, I've watched a few other videos um, to kind of see what it was going to be like, and it seemed a lot, it seemed like it was going to be a lot of work, but it's, it's actually not so bad. So, all right, let's get her put back together. I hope everybody's doing good out there in YouTube land. It's a pretty nice day out today. It's the, uh, what's today, 23rd. So may have to, uh, may have to jack this up a little bit to get all these points to mount, line up. Try not to scratch the paint. In the joint. What am I doing wrong here? I 
Oh, not paying attention. Got it backwards. That's supposed to go. That goes on the outside. What happens? You don't pay attention. The whole world falls apart. This isn't too bad of a job. It just takes a little bit of, like I said, a little hand-eye coordination and you should be right in there. Having a floor jack is pretty much a must on this. See, there you go. It's just, as they slide in there. I see what we gotta do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get these two up here. We're gonna get the nuts started on them. And then I gotta pull the pull the tire out from the bottom a little bit to uh, get the uh, sway bars to go in. So the nut's pretty easy to get to on the top. You can actually get to it with your by hand. Pretty easy. The bottom one's a little bit tougher because the skid plates and all that stuff are in the way. I won't say they're in the way. They're just you know they're there to protect things. So it's good that they're there. Those down. Actually, be able to get this. Oh, I know. That's right. Yeah, I think it's going to be off just a little bit. It's not going to be able to. Yeah, it's close, but it's it's. A little outside the uh, marker. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad to have extra, extra, an extra set of hands, honestly, but it's, uh, you know, like everything else, sometimes it's hard to find, you know, someone to give you a hand. Everybody's busy on the weekends. That's the idea right there. Jack that thing up a little bit, draws those tires in. There we go. Yeah, so what I did is I, I jacked it up a little bit and got some pressure on the, uh, it lifted those back tires up off the, off the ground a little bit. slide right in there you may have to uh, give them a little give them a little tap here and there but it seems to be going in there I got three out of the four in there we go all right so that's pretty much it just uh, undo the uh, undo the nuts and the bolts 
uh, pull them apart and then tighten them back up. Uh, the tightening them back up, I believe is 40, 43 or 45 um, foot pounds. I'm gonna verify that before I torque these down, but I am gonna tighten them up real quick. Um, but yeah, you should try to torque these things back to whatever specs. I know some guys will just, you know, run the, uh, you know, take an impact gun and just run them down and, you know, run them down tight and, and call the day. But that's not really fixing your, or not really going to uh, help you at all. Um, so just keep that in mind. Try to, uh, try to do it the way they, you know, they had it assembled. That way you don't have any problems. There's no question too. You're going to take it back apart, you'll be able to get it apart, and, you know, you go to, you know, and that way also, too, if you're not, when you're, you don't want to over-torque these kind of threads here, because on these, the Teflon's already, I probably should replace the nuts, but I don't have a set here, but, an extra set, a new set, but, um, because the Teflon coated nuts are not really, or, uh, line nuts are not really meant to be reused, and you can do it, but it's not really a good thing, but I'll put these on here for now, so I can at least move it in and out of the garage, and then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and order a set and then put them on. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this, uh, for this video. I'm going to tighten these down and that'll be it. But that's, uh, that's your, that's your pretty much, uh, how the, uh, hitch goes on. So it's, uh, it's not too difficult to do. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with anything else. I'll ask a little bit of time this up, but anyways, if you uh, like the video, please like, share, subscribe, uh, do whatever you want to do. But, uh, and, uh, Hey, you know what? Have a good day. Have a good Saturday. And, uh, you know, enjoy the nice weather if you have it. It's uh, springtime finally. So anyways, uh, y'all take care and we'll see you next time.